नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छू वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द जियोमेट्रिकल मीनिंग ऑफ जीरो ऑफ अ पॉलिनोमियल दिस इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड टेन चैप्टर नंबर टू पॉलिनोमियल्स ओके सो इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड दैट देयर आर बेसिकली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल दैट वी हैव टू स्टडी इन स्टैंडर्ड टेन लीनियर पॉलिनोमियल क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमियल एंड क्यूबिक पॉलिनोमियल सो फर्स्ट टाइप इज ऑफ लीनियर पॉलिनोमियल so standard form is p of x is equals to ax plus b as we know that by changing the value of x this value is also changed so we can take this as another variable let's take it y so y is equals to ax plus b okay so why we take y because by taking y now we can represent this value Or this expression on the graph. That is why we take as take it as y. Okay. So uh, suppose there is an example of linear polynomial p of x is equals to 3x plus 2. So by taking p of x is equals to y, we will get y is equals to 3x plus 2. Now to take the points, we will take different value of x, and according to that, we will get the value of y so by taking x is equals to 0 we will get y is equals to 2 by taking y is equals to 0 we will get x is equals to minus 2 upon 3 this you know very well how to find out okay you can get another points also right okay so by plotting this on the graph the first point is 0 2 so the 0 2 is this point and the second one is minus 2 upon 3 0 So minus two upon three is approximately near to the minus one. So let's take it here. So by joining this point and this point, we will get a line, a line, and that is the line of three x plus two polynomial, right? As we know that the degree of polynomial is one, and it is a linear polynomial. Its graph is also a straight line. Okay. So we have to notice one thing here is that. This graph of y is equals to 3x plus 2 polynomial intersect the x-axis in one point. Okay, so it has a relation to its number of polynomials. Okay, as it touches the x-axis in only one point, it is we can say that it poly, this polynomial has only one zero. Okay, so let's find out this zero. So to find out the zero of p of x is equals to 3x plus 2, we will get p of x is equals to zero. So 3x plus 2 is equals to zero, and x is equals to minus 3 upon 2. Here we get only one zero, right? As I have said that this graph is touches the x-axis in one point only, we can get one zero only. Okay? So this thing and this thing is Match to one another. Okay, that you have to understand. Okay, so uh, is it possible that this graph do not touch the x-axis in any point? Yes, it is possible. Suppose that there is an equation, uh, there is a polynomial f of x is equals to three. Now this is a constant polynomial. So by taking this y is equals to three. so the graph of y is equals to 3 is like this 1 2 and 3 so this graph will pass from this 3 value okay and it is parallel to the x axis and it is not touching any point to the x axis that is why the zero of this polynomial is also zero we can not get any value such that this polynomials becomes zero okay so this is the uh, graphical geometrical meaning of the zero of linear polynomials okay so let's see about the quadratic polynomial so so the standard form of the quadratic polynomial is ax square 
plus bx plus c. So let's take an example. P of x is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4. Okay? So by taking this is equal to y, y is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4. By taking the different value of x, we get the different value of y. Okay? So by taking 0, we will get minus 4, minus 1, 0. By taking 4 also, we get the 0. Yes, here for 2 value of x, the y is same. Okay? This you can verify by putting this value in this equation. Okay? So this kind of points we can get from this polynomial. Right? Now we will plot these values. Okay? So 0, 4 point is 0 minus 4 minus 1 0 is here sorry minus 1 0 is here yes this is 0 minus 1 0 this is different minus 1 and 0 okay third one is 4 0 4 0 is here minus 2 6 minus 2 6 is here, 2 minus 6 is here and 5, 6 is here. So by joining all these type of points, we will get this type of shape. And this type of shape is called the parabola. Okay. So for quadratic polynomial, we will get this kind of graph. Okay. Now see, this graph is touches the x-axis in two points. Here it touches it minus 1, 0 and here it touch the x-axis at 4. So, we can say that this polynomial has 2, 0. Okay? Let's verify it by finding the 0. So, to find out the 0, we will get P of x is equals to 0, x square minus 3x minus 4 is equals to 0. By splitting the middle term, uh, we will get x square minus 4x plus x minus 4. By taking x as common from this 2, we will get x minus 4. And by taking 1 as n common, we will get x minus 4. So, x minus 4 is common. So, in another bracket, we will get x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, by comparing this with 0, x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, we will get x is equal to 4. And again, comparing this to the 0, we will get x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 1. So, we will get how many zeros? Why? Because the maximum power is 2. So, maximum 0 is 2. And from the graph also, we can say that as it, is, as it touches the x-axis in two points only, this polynomial has maximum two zeros. Okay? So, these both values we can get here also 4 and minus 1. Okay? So, this same in this same type, we will see about the cubic polynomial. Okay? So, let's see the cubic polynomial. So, standard form of this cubic polynomial is P of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b. Okay? So, one of the example is x cube minus 4x. So, by taking this as y, same way we have done in quadratic polynomial. We will get the different value of x and y. So, these are the values. You know well, very well how to find out these values. Okay? So, by plotting this point, we will get minus 2, 0. Minus 2, 0 is here. Minus 1, 3. Minus 1, 3 is here. 0, 0 is the origin. 1, minus 3. 1, minus 3 is here. And 2, 0 is here. So, by joining all this point, we will get this type of shape. Okay? So, this is this type of shape we will get in cubic polynomial. Okay? So, as we know, we can see here that the, this graph touches the x-axis in three different points. First, second and third. So, now we can say that this polynomial has maximum three zeros. Okay? So, zeros f of x, to find the zeros, we get f of x is equal to 0, x cube minus 4x is equal to 0, x is common, 
So we will get x square minus 4 is equals to 0. To factorize this, we will use the identity. So x square minus 4 we can write down as x minus 2 and x plus 2. So by comparing this 3 with 0, we will get first x is equals to 0, second x minus 2 is equals to 0. So it is x is equals to 2. And by comparing this, x plus 2 is equals to 0, we get x is equals to minus 2. So, these are the 3 points or 3 zeros we get for this polynomial. And it is also, we can see in the graph of this polynomials. Okay. So, this is the all about the graphical representation of 0 of a polynomial or geometrical meaning of the zero of a polynomial okay so now you can decide by just seeing the graph of any polynomial that how much zero it has if the graph of the polynomial touches the x-axis in one point it has only one zero if it touches the x-axis in two point it has two zero if it touches the x-axis in three point it has three zero if it touches in 4 point, it has 4, 0. And if the graph does not touches the x-axis, then it has not any 0. Okay? So, this is all about this lecture. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for joining us.